so the question that has been asked is this that why beta thalassemia major patient or the severe beta thalassemia patient their clinical presentation usually occurs with anemia their anemia presentation usually occurs after 6 month now that's a very characteristic feature of beta thalassemia uh, major patients that the anemia usually do not occur before 6 month usually occurs after 6 month and to understand this to explain this i would break up into three parts and then i would logically connect them those three concepts so the first thing that again you need to understand is that what is thalassemia thalassemia is a hemoglobinopathy that means hemoglobin is pathological abnormal what kind of hemoglobinopathy is thalassemia quantitative or qualitative answer is quantitative that means thalassemia is basically a problem where the beta or alpha globin chain their production is reduced or absent now if this alpha globin chain is production is reduced or absent we call it alpha thalassemia if the beta globin chain production is reduced or absent due to genetic causes we call it beta thalassemia so thalassemia is basically the problem where there is a reduced or absent synthesis or production of globin chain alpha or beta depending on which globin chain is production is impaired we name accordingly if the alpha globin chain production is impaired we call it alpha thalassemia if the beta globin chain is impaired we call it beta thalassemia this is the concept number 1 the first concept then come to the second concept the second concept is this that we usually know that up to 6 month that means around the early part of infancy our major type of hemoglobin and also in the fetal period obviously is hbf hemoglobin f and after 6 month the hemoglobin switch occurs our main hemoglobin becomes hemoglobin a that is adult hemoglobin this is the concept number 2 the concept number 3 is that that we also know that hemoglobin f is basically made of two alpha chain and two gamma chain alpha 2 gamma 2 hemoglobin f does not require beta chain okay and hba which is our main predominant hemoglobin hba adult hemoglobin in our adult life after 6 month typically that requires al2 alpha chain to beta chain so hba is made of alpha 2 beta 2 so now i would connect these three concepts so what is happening before 6 month even if you don't produce beta globin chain it does not matter much because your main thing is that is hbf and hbf's constituent are alpha and gamma chains globin chain it does not is not made of beta chains so if you reduce synthesis of beta globin chain up to 6 month it will not impact you but after 6 month when the switch over occurs that means your main hemoglobin becomes hemoglobin a then you need the beta chain because the constituent of the hemoglobin a is alpha 2 beta 2 and that time you would start to feel the pinch that you don't have cannot produce the your main hemoglobin because hemoglobin a can require production require beta chain and as you are a patient of beta thalassemia or the patient is beta thalassemia major so you cannot produce the beta globin chain so you cannot produce hemoglobin a so obviously you become anemic because now you require hemoglobin a so that is basically the nut cell in a nut cell the key concept that after 6 month only usually we get the beta thalassemia major patients they present because that time usually the switch over occurs from hemoglobin f to hemoglobin a hemoglobin f is made of alpha and gamma chain it does not require beta chain so if you are having beta thalassemia if you are not producing beta chain you will not be impacted up to 6 month but after that switch over occurs you require hemoglobin a then you will be having the problem because you cannot produce hemoglobin a so that's why typically the anemia the presentation of anemia in beta thalassemia major patients usually occur after 6 month that is the explanation of this thank you